Hi guys, it's Mary with It Could Be Worse Vlog, and I am doing my Stellara Self Injection number 10 today. And I'm going to start out by saying that this shot has proved to be my most stressful so far because this is actually my second recording, my first time my battery wonked out, and so I'm having to redo everything. And then I went into my shot today thinking that I was doing a left-sided injection and I didn't worry about icing it because of the neurectomy left me with no feeling. And I looked at my last injection and I had actually done it on that side. And since you want to switch sides, I get to do it on my right side today. And so I haven't numbed myself for nothing, no ice pack today. But I did take my medication out of the fridge earlier and let it get warm, room temperature. Um, I know that the Solora gives me like sinus pressure. So I already took my Benadryl and I took my anti-nausea and I have no Tylenol. So I had to take two of my Imatrix just because I don't want to have any migraines. And so... Here we go. Um, I kind of wanted to touch base on my abscess that I mentioned last time I was getting ready to go in for an exam under anesthesia. And after that, I ended up having my abscess drained in like surgery. And so I had to walk around with like a second hole in my bottom for a couple weeks. But now I'm about a month post-op from that. And GI ordered up a bunch of liver and kidney and blood tests. And she even ordered up a stool test this time to see what my bowels are looking like and seeing how the Stellara is working. It's been about a year or so since my last scope. And so I kind of wanted to get in there and see how my bowels are managing and what they're going through. But uh, I also wanted to talk about today how to give a shot correctly. I know a lot of people are contradicting like how I do my shots, but I was trained by my nurses. I'm also a phlebotomist and I have an IV license. So I figured I would go through my steps and kind of discuss the different changes that everybody has. Um, I guess we'll just get started. I got alcohol in my stomach and like I said, I didn't even numb it. So I'm going to feel this one. So I'm just winging it. Um, for your shot, you don't want to shake it. You don't want to drop it. You don't want to put any air bubbles in it. And you want to make sure there's no air bubbles in it already. Take off your lid. Um, and I just guess go for it. Sometimes it might dribble and that's fine. But here we go. I'm sure it's going to hurt. You go in at like a 45 degree angle and you go in. And I know some people force their medication really fast and I do mine somewhat slow. But you do not want your medication to bubble up under the skin. That's going to make your bruise worse. It's going to make your shot or site injection site look. Oh, it's going to make it swell up and it's going to cause more pain. This one is throwing me off today because I don't have it iced, but what can you do? And I know this plunger sticks into itself at the end, and a lot of people press it, and they pull it out with the needle, but I found that I let it take it out of me by itself. If you pull out the needle, you risk lifting up, no matter how straight you think you're pulling it out, you lift up and then you scratch yourself, and then that can just lead to a scratch and lead to infection. Um, I always band-aid it up after I alcohol it again, and that's it for the day, but, uh, it's been a long eight weeks. I just did my school test today, so I have to take that into Dr. Selby tomorrow, and hopefully by the next eight weeks, we can get a scope on my bowels and see how we're doing. I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks.